What's going on everybody? Magnus here. Welcome to Dark Horse Workshop. Today we're working on version 2 of the Gokstead pouch. Before we get started, remember that you can pick up all the patterns and artwork for all my projects on my website and my Etsy shop. Link in the description down below. You can also pick up the same patterns and artwork on a month to month basis on my Patreon. So have a look at that. This video is once again sponsored by Lonsdale Leather. Make sure you check the description down below for links to tools, supplies, and of course, leather. I've got the holes on this pattern. You could use them if you want for specific hole placement. I tend to use them just as a guideline now. It seems to work out better for me. There aren't a lot of pieces to this pattern, so just cut them out and follow along. Maybe hit that subscribe button if you're looking for some fun videos that range in skill level from simple to complex. I'm using some deer hide here. It's a little stretchy, so sometimes it's hard to work with, but I do like how it is, and as a lot of you guys have seen, I've used it in many of my projects lately. A trick to cutting stretchy leather is to pull away the leather as you cut it, like I'm doing here. So it keeps it nice and tight so your blade doesn't bunch up your material. It always works out pretty good for me. Now this is a bit of a hack job here. I think I need a smaller knife. It does turn out just fine, but I do flip it over and cut the back a little bit because of the angle of my blade. I've always just used a big utility knife but maybe it's time to invest in some more precision knives. The prototypes I did for versions 1 and 2 of these pouches both had linen, and though I liked the wool in the version 1 when I did the final design, I liked the linen better for this one. This pouch needs to fold nicely, and the wool just added a little too much bulk for it. We want some nice edges, so we're just going to use some double-sided tape, fold these edges, and then we're going to take everything over to the spray booth, well not everything, just the leather, and spray the backs of the leather with some Super 77 spray glue, so that we can temporarily tack these together so they're easier to punch and stitch. We've got our cut center line here. We're just going to line both of these pieces of wool up to just right at its edge. And now we're ready to go through the hole punching process. Unless you have a sewing machine. This is quite sewable on the right kind of sewing machine. So we just need to cut off our excess and get to sewing. We're going to do all those inside pieces first, obviously, because then we're going to stitch the outside together last. This is a really simple pouch, I don't want to make it too complicated. This is just a running stitch all the way along. And then I'm going to back stitch a bit and burn my thread ends. I'm using some 277 unwaxed nylon sewing machine thread. It's almost white, but it's a natural color. I haven't always avoided it, but if I'm doing Viking type projects, I'm going to try and steer away from just bleach white thread. This is all pretty straightforward. Keep doing your running stitch until you get all the way around, back stitch a bit, and then what we're going to do is flip the pouch inside out and punch our holes through all four layers. Now my camera died, but you can get the picture here. All you have to do is make sure everything is flat and lined up and then have the right size punch for your leather lace, thonging, cord, 
rings, hemp rope, whatever you want to put through there. Actually, I think rings would be a really cool idea if you put some rings in it and then attach a strap to the rings. Could be very cool. This is just a single lacing punch. I was winging it. I opened the hole up and it enables me to go through the hole and loop around and back through the leather lace that I have and then I just tie a knot and then I split it into two ends because it looks cool. But don't overthink this part. You can strap it however you want. Um, this is your pouch. And hell, this part of the pouch, hell this whole pouch, nobody knows how it was made. The grave find is super rough. So that's why there's two of them where people have no idea what it even is. Maybe it's a little piggy bank like I showed at the beginning where it's just flat on somebody's table. And here's that linen version so you can see how low profile this one is. I really enjoyed making these two pouches. Check the link in the description down below for patterns and artwork. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. And until next time, keep on being creative in whatever it is you do.